Hello there Virgo and welcome to your oracle messages for whenever you get this video and it resonates for your situation regardless of the date and time. Keep in mind Virgo it is a general reading so if you find the messages uh, don't resonate for you at all check your moon, your rising or your venus signs or feel free to check out the past oracle messages or any of the other timeless messages those are I was going to say those are all timeless. I just said that. Anyhow, um, ooh, we got something about travel maybe for some of you guys. There may be something significant here um, for some of you guys, maybe a honeymoon, like for reals. Um, that's for a few of you guys. But I do see something about um, enjoying a time together. Maybe it will be over a holiday. Maybe it'll be over a weekend. Maybe it'll be like a vacation. Um there's definitely maybe something with a journey or going to traveling to seeing someone or something here, okay? But I definitely get this vibe of being able to spend time uh, with someone that is very meaningful for you. What else for Virgo? Okay, there's going to be more. <laughs> For some of you Virgos, um, there's definitely um, an angel that is like standing behind you, like at all times watching over you. Didn't I just say a retreat? Look at this. This is no joke. Okay, maybe some of you guys got married or you're hooked up and you're going to be able to take a retreat here with someone um, and you may be disconnecting from the world to really spend quality time together. But for some of you guys, there's a sense of like moving towards this energy of being able to retreat with someone here and really have time to disconnect and disengage with other people and, and the world and really... Um, have you guys be the world of each other and get to know each other um, more intimately, more deeply, and really spending quality time together. Wow. Hmm. What else? Definitely get a... For a lot of you Virgos, I don't know, I just see like a vacation. It's going to feel like vacation if it's not real vacation or something like that. What else for Virgo? And for some of you Virgos, there's something here that's going to lead to marriage. I mean, we got uh, people that are in uh, wedding um, outfits and, uh, the, and we got the honeymoon card. Oh God, I was just going to say, oh my goodness. I was just going to say, I was looking at the word retreat and I was thinking, oh my goodness, like you know, uh, the hermit card. And I was thinking just like the hermit, the hermit has to retreat, right? Has to, has to go within sometimes, has to disconnect from the world to reconnect with their own inner light, their own inner be being, and to find, um, and seek the answers that they need. I feel that, uh, and besides that, I was, what I was going with that was, um, maybe someone retreated from you or you retreated from someone. They could be at a distance from you. Um, and so there is a possibility of uh, a reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. You definitely get six of cups energy. Water sign is showing up. You may have water in your energy or dealing with someone with water sign. Okay, so this may be a time of forgiveness and being able to move on from the past, having a time of reconciliation. And, and again, because we may be able to disengage from energies or people that may have been in the way the first time, um, what or whatever the case may be it's more just I get this energy where you guys finally get to connect with one another and have this reconciliation with one another okay so let's just see what's going on what, what else for Virgo They may even, Virgo, I'm getting to that they may even ask you, they may even ask you to take a vacation or something with them or, or to um, somehow come to them or they want to travel to you if they're from, if they're at a distance or they want to take you. Yeah, they want to take you somewhere. That's, that's the feeling I'm getting. Let's see what else for you. Oh my God. You guys are going to have a sense of renewal. I, I big time from someone from the past. Um, a, a lot of you guys, um, 
I just sense some type of divine blessing, um, an opportunity to have renewal in love. Now, for some of you guys, if you if you really don't want someone from the past and you need to focus and your intention on um, this new opportunity, this divine blessing, because it's going to feel like someone from the past, like a past life soul resonance. It's going to feel like home to you. I um, mean, you want to open and you want to keep open and, and take this opportunity because it is a, a divine gift of love here. I feel too, for some of you Virgos, you're going to have a significant um, insight with your spirituality and your gifts. Okay. So I see an opportunity for love. Virgo water sign is showing up. What else? definitely gonna make you feel good look at this it's there's potential for this is like really long standing here and some of you guys may have like a big family i don't know but yeah we've got the ten of pentacles here yep oh my goodness look at look at you see the ace of wands but look what's behind it virgo lovers okay yeah this is significant <clears throat> mm-hmm Whatever the situation is, there's going to be a lot of attraction and chemistry, big, big, big time. You, you, you just can't deny the chem chemistry that's going to go on between you two. You guys really um, are a complement to one another. You see, it's like, oh my goodness, look, you guys are both from like different worlds, but yet you really connected and you really are alike in some way, shape or form. But um, I t yeah, I just see th there's a lot of chemistry, a lot of passion here. And I do see a situation um, for a lot of you Virgos that are seeking um, overcoming challenges with a soulmate or someone that you feel that is of a divine, um, you know, a divine partner for you, where you've had troubles that you, maybe you guys retreated from each other, uh, whatever the case may be. There is definitely overcoming and, and overcoming trials and tribulations and possibly taking it to a higher level of commitment, whether it's um, physical marriage or, um, you know, just a very sacred bond that just you guys, there's just a knowing of being together for a really long time. But I also see you guys really building something very strong for yourself as well. Okay, because I feel what has happened in the past was a false start for a lot of you Virgos. I feel that you guys had this idea of really coming together and having um, a long time, like a long standing foundation with this person and it didn't happen. It was like a false start. Okay, and that's why you're getting a second chance here. Okay, and someone wants a second chance. Um, and again, for those Virgos out there that are seeking a new um, soulmate, a new connection, a divine connection with, I mean, God, with the Ace of Cups and the lovers, oh my goodness, you better believe it's, it's going to happen for you. Okay. It really is. So for those of you guys, I mean, this may be a time to really disconnect from the world. If it's causing you guys any frustration or if it's causing you guys, you guys to question yourself um, or your path. Um, it just may be a time to do that because um, some way, shape or form, you're manifesting this opportunity. Spirit is, is um, it's because I feel that you guys have been really searching and seeking some type of resolution or peace when it comes to um, family, commitments, soulmates, friends, whatever. But for a lot of you guys, this is about a divine partner, I feel, okay? So yeah, I, I it, there's just something strong that's happening here and you're going to have like a, um, a new start here, but it's, it, it's very, very real this time. It's, it's solid. And some of you guys, yeah, I feel for some of you Virgos, um, some of you Virgos that have had like something happen in existing marriage or partnership that was like, you know, basically like a marriage, um, and you're wanting that um, recon reconciliation, yeah, it's gonna happen, okay? So let's see what else for you, Virgo. Gemini energy is showing up as well as fire sign and earth sign.
it's almost like this person or the situation it's just like starts out it starts off very very strong it's like it's a strong commitment like it never really was broken or something like that but it's it starts out very very strong i mean the ten of pentacles and the ace of wands it's very strong and it grows i embrace my transformation yeah you guys are letting go of the past here like again i just felt that you guys there was something about having a false start there was a falling apart for some of you guys and some of you guys you're being broken away from um maybe uh, other family members or other people that you felt committed to whatever it is to really let go of the past so that you guys can come into um this right uh divine soulmate divine person that's meant for you here the magic of nature is in me and i am brilliant and i am blessed yeah you guys are coming through a time of um really really coming out of a time of darkness at one time um and really having a whole new way of looking and viewing things okay um spirit just wants you guys to embrace your transformation love yourself as much as possible because the more that you guys are loving yourself um the quicker and the more abundant these blessings start manifesting in your life okay you guys are going to get a reward for really coming out of some darkness and, and and really learning from it what else for virgo something else too virgo i see something going on with some of you virgos with really um, doing what you're meant to do with your life purpose and making um, and like leaving a legacy and really creating a strong sense of security and wealth for you um, from doing your life purpose well this card just flew out like that surrendered to inner peace oh my god and it just how funny I was holding this card and then this one kind of flew out from the over here yeah look at this surrender to inner peace and then we got the card of trust the situation is calling you to have faith. Oh boy, I know that's hard, right? Uh, cultivate inner peace on a daily basis. Interesting, because you had that card of retreat. In quiet meditative moments, focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others, see others, will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. Your life will flow more easily, just like the Ace of Cups. Your life will flow more easily. Spirit's literally telling you how to manifest this, how to get this going here for you. So it's about building your faith muscles and, and really causing yourself um, incredible sense of peace on the inside to really be in the flow so that you guys aren't feeling like you have to make effort and work so hard at something or try to figure something out where you can let go of um, any um, worries or stresses. What else for Virgo? And I do feel that there's a sense of mirroring here. I mean, they're looking in a mirror. So, yeah. This is a strong, this is a strong connection. It's not something that's easily, that you can easily deny, that's for sure. Oh my god that's why i said you guys are going to have the heart-to-heart -heart conversations that's necessary for you guys and how however it shows up in your life you're going to have that heart heart-to-heart -heart conversation and also that heart-to-heart -heart conversation is going to open your guys's um perception to a lot of things and it's like oh my goodness it's almost like i'm getting like this ace of swords you just you're just your mind is so clear everything is so clear communication is so clear everything is clear honestly discuss your feelings with each other yeah you're gonna have a situation where you guys will be open you're gonna be able to honestly discuss your feelings with each other and and feel a sense of fullness in your heart again or for the first time really feel the sense of overflow of love in your heart what else for virgo
Virgo, I said there was an angel standing behind you, right? Look at standing on that boat behind you. A little Cupid angel standing behind you. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh, God, and another one over here. <laughs> okay, what else for Virgo? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Libra energy. It's going to go in your favor. Uh, I was going to say Libra. Virgo, it's going to go in your favor. Yeah, definitely. Some kind of sacred. Oh, my God. It's going to go in your favor. Six of Wands. Yeah, some, again, there's something strong with a lot of your guys' um, purpose or your passion or something that you're doing that is very, like, really your calling, your life purpose. Um, some of you guys may even get a new contract when it comes to work or something you're going to be promoted to. Um, some of you guys definitely are, are attracting a lot of attention. Uh, but let's go back to Justice card, Six of Wands. You're going to come out a winner. I don't know what, what the situation is, but if there was any challenges, it, it's going to be made right. Um, and you got this, you got the um, Justice card with the reconciliation. So someone from the past really wants to make things right. Um, and for those of you Virgos too, because it's a general reading, you guys are letting go of the past and coming into um, a soul bond here that's a soul contract um, for you. And this past thing is just, again, it, it's like this soul resonance. You guys um, have known each other many lifetimes before. So stay open to that. And, and for those of you Virgos that you know really that this, you know, um, that you you've got this you know you know this person right you're like yeah then absolutely there's um big potential for this there's forgiveness there's um healing there's making things right okay oh, karma was at play that's what was going on the scales had to be balanced out right for you at the right time. What else for Virgo? I feel for some of you Virgos, uh, for some it was like, yeah, I, I don't know. It's almost like a feeling of um, you just were very challenged um, and tested and you could have felt like, you know, you had to compete for someone or you had to gain someone's attention or something like that or or vice versa. This is that person that was doing it to you. But um, you're going to come out a winner in any challenge. You're going to have victory. I see you guys just overcoming a lot of um, trials and tribulations, challenges, conflicts. Look at partnerships. Again, something very significant with partnership for you. Okay, a lot of you guys just need to come back to really accepting yourself and who you are right now, doing things that honor your, um, your integrity, okay, making decisions um, to balance your life out. Feel confident about being you though, Virgo. This is the most important thing because spirit is like, you are a joy bringer, Virgo. You really are. Let your community nourish and protect you. Some of you guys, again, there, there's something about you being you know, popular or you may have a, a following or you have a community. There's just definitely this sense of, you know, people know who you are. You guys may want to retreat with those people that you feel very connected to um, that can really support and protect you. Okay. Cause I do see something about teamwork. Um, but I, I definitely see with this puff and partnership, I see a situation where we want to work together. Somebody wants to work together with you, Virgo. Okay. So Virgos be open to this. Someone from the past wants to come in and have forgiveness, wants to have a reconciliation, wants to, um, be very, very, there's just a, and the potential of it being long lasting, um, is here okay so wherever it comes with partnership you guys are going to get fulfillment in partnership regardless i don't know what your situation is but you guys are going to get the um what you need when it comes to partnership okay what else for virgo Okay, 
that last card wants to show itself. Yeah. I was just thinking of the law of attraction and here's attraction, but I'm just looking at you being very attractive. You guys are really glowing up somehow. I don't know. There's just something about you. Um, and also just stay in the present moment because this is what's going to attract everything that you need necessary for you. Okay. And you guys really are attracting romantic love. I just going to say that you guys are attracting romantic love to you as we speak. Okay. I don't know what's going on, but you're attracting romantic love to you. You're attracting romance. You're attracting love. You're attracting whatever it is you need for your heart. You're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. I almost forgot this one. Oh my God. This could be the one. <laughs> you're wrong. This could be the one. Yeah. Some of you guys have already met the romantic par partner you seek. And some of you guys just, again, stay open. You're going to meet him. Okay. It's going to be the one. Going to be the one. Partnership. What else for um, Virgo? And I feel the, this one is, it's just, they're unique like you, okay? They just, they compliment you. I mean, there's just this compliment. Look at these two. Different but alike. Yeah, you guys are going to be flirting a lot too. I just, I remember I told you there's a lot of chemistry, a lot of attraction here, a lot of attraction, a lot of flirting. You're going to have a lot of fun. You're going to feel like you guys are on a honeymoon. Literally, some of you guys might be on that honeymoon, right? But yeah. And for some of you um, Virgos still like single or out there and wanting to attract this because you guys are attracting some type of really significant soulmate, soul bond here, divine partner, whatever. Get a little flirty. Open yourself up. Okay? It's going to open you. It's going to open things up for you. It's going to get the energy moving. What else for Virgo? For any of you Virgos dealing with legal stuff, you're going to you're gonna, it's gonna go in your favor. Just make sure you're doing things with integrity. Um, you're getting, you're looking at everything. You're reviewing things carefully, signing things, um, and it's gonna go in your favor. Okay, I just have to say that because I'm seeing the six of wands with the uh, justice card there. Patience, have pa I know this could be a hard one, right? Have patience. Create a place in nature, stillness, and be renewed. So there's definitely Virgos. I feel you guys. Maybe some of you guys are just surrounded by a lot of energies or you're feeling conflicted with others or there's just something going on. Maybe you're working too much or there's just an imbalance, whatever it is. It doesn't matter because everybody needs to recharge anyways. Um, there's definitely a sense of being renewed and having patience, right? To, to take time, God, it says take time alone to find balance, um, but also stepping confidently toward your purpose. I see you guys really stepping confidently towards your purpose. Um, you guys may have something significant happen where something changes or you're catapulted into your purpose. Like something happens and you just go, whoa, you're doing good in one thing and it just moves you into another and you find that this is your thing. Um, I just see that so much. Something big time with your life, got your guys' life purpose. Yeah, and Spirit's letting you know you guys are going to get rewarded for your patience because Spirit knows you've been patient, Okay. You will get the rewards that you need and want. And here's the Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Justice card. What else for Virgo? Yeah, let go of control issues. That's just part of letting go of the past and just letting go of expectations. Yeah, you've got to allow it to unfold naturally. And this is why Spirit's saying, take a step back. You, maybe something that you're doing is forcing something and that's not the way to do it. It's just going to make it, it's going to make it stand still and stagnant even longer. Um, and so there's a real strong need to just allow something to happen naturally. So maybe there's something about being out in nature for some of you, uh, Virgos. Okay. 
Um, I feel for some of you Virgos, maybe there's something with um, the inter too much internet, too much social social media or something. Something is just too fast paced. Something for some of you guys, something's just it's overstimulating you, and you just need to recharge and renew yourself. Okay, um, that's for some of you guys. What else for Virgo? I told you and it landed right on the ace of wands with the lover's card this is this is strong I don't I, this is a strong connection there's just you can't deny it it's a strong magnetic attraction here I mean you got the word attraction here this could be the one you got the ace of wands you got the lover's card you got the ace of cups you got the six of wands I mean attraction attraction flirt holy crap you guys are going to get really flirty and passionate and I think a lot of you Virgos are just, you know, you're going to be doing a lot of love making too, for sure. <laughs> okay. Oh my. So hello. Your patience is going to pay off. Your patience is going to pay off. Ooh, this is hot and spicy. What else for Virgo? Okay. That's it for those. So let's find out how is spirit helping you Virgo? How is spirit helping Virgo? Okay. Effortless. That was that for, oh yeah. White stag protector. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. I can't help this. I just, okay. You're an old soul, but then look at this second thing. What does this say? Your best friend is nature. Did I not just say, I feel a lot of you guys need to go out in nature somehow. Use your intuition to take you where you want to go. Um, spirit is absolutely helping you guys uh, be guided by your intuition. You guys are a lot. You guys are really ancient wise souls. You're very noble souls. You guys hold a lot of integrity. That's the thing about you. And it's quite beautiful. Um, you just need to awaken to the powerful force within you. Okay. Because you guys are really meant to create blessings with your magic. With your magic. You guys... You do you guys have this uh, you got a lot of you guys are powerful like manifestors um, or you're starting to see that and you're starting to attract the right things to you you need to keep going because you guys are just going to get brighter and brighter and attract and attract more good uh, things to you um, and there is something significant with like you know promoting yourself or just something with your work um, and being really recognized for that so yeah, spirit is really protecting you. Spirit is helping you guys um, follow your intuition um, and really create blessings with your magic, okay? Because I, I get a sense that you guys do um, really great things for yourself and others and for some for the world. I feel like getting just one more for how spirit's helping you too. One more. big time I see big time marriage in this reading big time um, so uh, you, for those of you guys that are single I, I feel that your guys are gonna get married I just see it so much with this one it, you're gonna marry this one you just you just are you just are you're gonna marry them and some of you guys maybe there is that marriage thing and, and you guys will have um, something renewed like renewed vows or something like that for some of you guys oh my goodness i'm telling oh my goodness how spirit's helping you blessing to bring prosperity yep 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 because i do see you guys working and here we go it's just really matching the ten of pentacles there's no doubt that you're going to get um the commitment the bond whatever you guys need but you definitely are going to have help in um getting blessings with your prosperity with money with resources Whatever Virgo needs, Virgo will get, okay? I hope that was helpful. Love and light. Take care.